I am Sarah Woods and I'm from Dublin. Fiona Dwyer from the United States. My uh, family is Tipperary, uh, both parents, my grandparents on my mom's side and my dad all born and raised in Tipperary so um, I'm just happy to be playing for Ireland, putting on the jersey, even though I was born in the States, but always raised Irish. We've been working all week for this game, building up, and I think just to get started in the tournament, everyone's really dying to get the first game under their belt. Yeah, I think it's exciting as well. Norway haven't really been on the international scene in the last four to five years, so we don't know much about them. We did a bit of video analysis there with Mark and Francis, our two coaches, and we watched a few of their club games. So that was good, um, but again, actually seeing them play will be really, really uh, interesting. You excited? Yeah, Absolutely. really excited. Finally, we've been training pretty much every single weekend since April. So for this week to actually be here, I think we're ready and we're we're ready, we're really prepared Absolutely. as well. And in our pool, um, Norway, Luxembourg and ourselves will be quite strong. Whereas um, looking back to Gibraltar, we kind of cruised a few games until the finals. And that's not always a good thing because when you get to the finals, then you're, you're mm. playing against a really, really strong team. You maybe are not as prepared as you could be. So I'm really excited for this tournament because I want some competition. And please God, if we make it to semifinals or finals, I think we're going to be really, really ready to take on, take on whatever medal, whatever color we can. You've been involved with DCU though, and you've been having a pretty good run of it. I have, yeah. We had a very good season winning the cup this year. So um, that's nice that I had that confidence now to kind of hopefully continue on the good season that I've had and progress in this tournament, especially playing with the likes of all the talented girls from Glamire and Brunel and from the States. <laughs> so um, it's exciting to actually play with the best players in Ireland instead of playing against them for once. So that's cool. We kind of have to say, look guys, we're in green now and green, yeah. we're all on the same team. And I still think it's one of those really enjoyable things when you're playing against each other all year. It's nice to come together and this has essentially that's been fun. a three year programme. So we've become almost like family in the last three years where we're seeing each other all the time so um, no, I, I, I really look forward to playing with them but come September now it's, it's, you know what it's nice to get different coaches perspectives about um, just individual skills like when you have the same coach looking at you all year and I love Mark Ingle and I really respect everything he, he coaches me and says to me and I take that into consideration but it's nice always to have different eyes like I Francis Paul and Mark give me tips so um, all that is only going to make you a better player Having that green jersey on is just a, an even a bigger sign that, like, you know, I am Irish, my roots are Irish, and, and wearing it is, is such an honour. And it's different than uh, Gaelic and Hurling because they can't get to this level. So I think that's what's so special about basketball. Uh, we finished our season in March, and to, to have a break from March to, to September, it's really hard to get better. And that's what the, you can aspire to play for this team, and you're only improving every single year. And I think that's that's really, really enjoyable to be able to do that. And to sort of putting on an Irish jersey, it's the most special feeling in the world. When you look down, you, sometimes it's a bit surreal. You look down when you're about to go on, you're like, okay, time to play for Ireland. Like I'm not playing club basketball anymore. So that's pretty cool. Well, and I think Basketball Ireland did their best to not have a complete break. Like we had six weeks since where we would get together with the 12 best girls, sometimes a panel of 15, and we'd go out to Luxembourg or we'd have Wales and Iceland come mm -hmm. to us. And that's been happen happening over the last five years. So when people look at the big break, yes, it was a big break from playing European championships and small countries, but we've dabbled a bit and I think that's kept the 12 of us who are here now, who, especially the older ones in our late 20s, it certainly kept me interested. So I think Basel Ireland did a really, really good job of enabling us to play that. And I know it was the Women's Super League Committee as well that got those funds together to enable us to go to the lights of Luxembourg to play against them. So uh, that's been really helpful, as I said, for the older generation, I call myself the older generation, but uh, um, I think that's, it's kept me very, very interested. As you said, it's so important to have a, a huge Irish team to play for. And that's the reason I'm still playing basketball right now because of it. I think Ireland basketball is very guard oriented, uh, quick, a lot of fast breaks, that kind of thing. But you go back to the States and it's, I think it's very balanced between, you know, inside game, outside game and, and strength and speed. Um, but this experience is perfect. And like she was saying, not like a lot of GA sports will get the chance to play internationally and you get to come up against these countries and they'll have a different style and we'll have to, you know, we'll have to make the adjustments to Norway style, to Luxembourg style. And it just gives you a bit more, um, experience with the game and you get to see a bit of that and it adds to your game when you can when you yeah. can understand that. I think we're really really prepared and yeah. I don't think there's anything else any regrets in our preparation that we've done so far and we're all really going in for it and we all know yeah. there's, there is expectation on us almost put on by ourselves but we want to do Cork and Ireland as proud as possible yeah Absolutely. and so to have anybody supporting us especially I think people are underestimating our first game uh, against Norway that'd be huge to have a crowd there because essentially if we beat Norway that's a huge stepping stone to get to the semi-final playoffs. Absolutely and just having the whole house behind you is just it changes the atmosphere of the game it, it kind of helps the momentum swing in your favor when 
when a team has to step out into the floor and everyone's roaring against them, like it does take an effect on them. So yeah. there's a bit more ex uh, expectation when you walk in with an Irish jersey that um, nobody has a right to play for Ireland. That we yeah. need to go out there and do the country proud, and we've trained as hard as we can, and that's all we're going to try to do: go out there and play as best we can.